ago now, I was lucky enough to get to perform at TEDx Canberra. And since then, I have graduated high school. I've become an adult. <laughs> I got my license. I went on a TV show that was pretty random. Uh, played a bunch of shows that I never imagined that I'd ever get to play. I met some incredible people. I got to travel a lot, wrote a lot of music, um, lost family members, went through lots of coming of age teen stuff. Um, and so I was watching my old TED performance from back when I was 15, just to get some ideas and brainstorm for this one. And watching it, I realized that 15 year old Lucy was very sure of herself. Um, she definitely saw the world very black and white and very simply. And I was like, man, I miss feeling like there was nothing left to figure out. <laughs> anyway, now I'm so much older at age 18, full of existential dread. And I know that I'm definitely going to look back at 18 year old me, just like I'm looking at 15 year old me and be like, calm down, lady. It's not that bad. Anyway. So this year has been a very transitional period for me. I've been writing a lot of music, working, and to be honest, feeling quite confused and lost and overwhelmed with the purpose and direction of my life. And I've been told that this won't change for a little while. <laughs> but if there's one thing I have learned this year, it's that it's never too early or too late to be who you want to be or do what you want to do. There's literally no time constraints or rules. And it's pretty much about making the best or the worst of the circumstances that are thrown at you. And so this first thing I wanted to share with you, I wrote with my friend Dustin Tebbett, and it's pretty much learning to accept those periods of growth and change. And it's also about the magic of knowing that the world is so big that there's so many people out there to meet and connect with and there's so many more things to learn and do. And I think life is about living a life that you're proud of and that you're happy with and if you're ever not proud or happy with how you're living, it's about having the strength and courage to start again and keep on moving. So this song is about hope for the future. It's very reflective of where I'm at at the moment. It's called Smaller Smile. There goes the way like stones. There goes the way like stones. Head into the river and get softened by the flow. I 
gotta do is figure out the best way to be Thank you so much. <laughs> so tonight's all about celebrating bold and brilliant women. And when I was first asked to do this performance, I immediately thought of one of the most brilliant and very bold women that I know, my mother. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite, this is one of the favorite songs that I've written. That this is one of my mom's favorite songs that I've written. Um, so I was feeling very down and out about love and boys, oh. Um, I'd just been broken up with and I was like, love is dead, everything sucks, and I am suffering. <laughs> I was sitting at this keyboard which lives in the lounge room and above it on the wall are two pictures that my parents have taken of each other looking at the sunset, it's very cute. And it was then that I realized that I had the best example of love right in front of my face every single day. And maybe love wasn't dead. Anyway, so I decided to write about my parents. And one thing that I love about my parents' relationship is the way that they work together and support each other always, and that they work as a team. My family's full of incredibly strong women who are successful and bold and brilliant, and they're always supported by equally as strong men. And so my mom's a chiropractor, my parents own two chiropractic clinics. And for a lot of my life, my dad's been what I like to refer to as my stay-at-home dad. Um, he was the only dad at ballet. He could do a mean ballet bun, just so you know. And he was often the only dad at after-school pick-up and drop-off, but he never felt emasculated by that and really embraced the role of the nurturer and the caregiver. And this meant mum could not only be a mother, but she got to pursue her fantastic career as a businesswoman and as a chiropractor caring for people in the Canberra region. And so... <laughs> yes, woo. -hoo. And so one thing that has always inspired me and motivated me is the way in which my mum and dad have contributed to my sister and myself, my, my life. And the way in which my mum has built this life for my sister and I, alongside dad, coming to this country as a refugee with nothing, um, that's always just so, so incredible to me. And so... Five years on, yeah, they're still going strong 
And I watch from the middle In a world where love ends off and short She still sees him there She's never seen him before They give their time And spend the night like it's so simple on the world together with my best friend I hope that when I'm older I'll be like them 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 Thank you so much Thank you.